All right, so let's get our ship back in. And I'm just going to color correct these two, so our render and our clouds, to make them uh, match a bit better. And let's quickly go over what I did. Um, I added some purple in the clouds because we have a... If you look at the highlights of our ship here, they kind of have some purple bits in there. It's hard to see, but we just need to get, get some of that purple back in the clouds because this is basically reflecting off that. And then also make sure that our highlights in the ship, you can see in the top right over here, the highlights are around 25,000 and then I wanted to make sure that uh, the highlights in the in the clouds were also around 25,000 uh, so that they both match up and same with the blacks so these are some very dark blacks in here around 1600, 1700 and then when I look at the picture here there are also some dark blacks which also go let's see they go to 3000 ish but i've seen some go to 2000 as well so i just wanted to have those match up as well um and yeah yeah i just did some uh, lumetri color corrections um and i made sure that my my project was set to 16 bit per channel color instead of eight um and yeah i think this match is pretty good so for the next step, I'd like to add some camera shake. So I'm just going to rename this to ship emerge uh, base. And then I'm going to duplicate this and I will call this um, comp. Open this up and delete all of this and then uh, put the base one in the comp like so. And I will make this a 3D layer and I will add a new camera. Layer, new camera. And I will make it a 50 mil. Uh, make sure it's on uh, two nodes. Okay. And then when we go in the camera settings here, we go to point of interest and we alt click the keyframe uh, stopwatch here. And now we can write uh, a wiggle expression. So we'll say wiggle. 1,15 and I usually use a wiggle 1,15 for handheld shots so this will now look like a handheld shot let's play this and as you can see we now kind of get a, a handheld look we can make this stronger by increasing uh, the 15 to maybe 25 and this is basically the value so we want to move it with a value of 25 and this is the the frequency so how many times per second does it need to change value so let's try this okay so this is looking pretty cool i'm gonna up it one more time to get a little bit more movement so i'll do 32 and then i'm going to get rid of our edges because when when the camera moves we can see the edges here see the, the black bar here so we need to uh, scale our video up so we'll say 103 and we have to do a little bit more 103.5 so we have to make sure our video layer here stays in frame okay, so a little bit more so 10 let's do 103.8 okay so this should be good so now we got rid of our black edges here um so let's take another look oh okay so on the top here you can see it left the frame again so we have to scale it some more maybe 105 okay i'm just gonna decrease our value here so i'm gonna say 28 
28 should solve it. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's do another color correction in here. And this one will go over the whole frame and not just the separate layers. So we'll say Ctrl-Alt-Y for an adjustment layer. We'll say this is color correction. And we'll do another Lumetri. Okay. Let's add some contrast. But I do want to keep the blacks because the, the, the bottom side of the ship is already pretty dark. So I don't want to overdo this. Um, we could get some more highlights in there. Like so. Uh, do we want more saturation? I don't really think so. Let's do 105. Uh, let's do minus 0 0.2 on this one. 5 on the contrast. Let's do... Oops. Let's do... 20 highlights uh, and 10 shadows. Okay, let's um, add a little bit of purple in the mix. So we'll do five. And do we want to make the scene warmer or colder? I feel like we can make it a little bit warmer. So let's do 12. Okay, it's starting to look good. Let's add a small vignette. Something like this. Well, maybe that's a little bit too much. Let's do minus 1.2. Okay. Let's also add a glow. So we'll Ctrl Alt Y again. I will call this glow. Let's search for a glow in our effects presets. Glow, stylized glow, drag it on there. And let's do something like threshold 85. Radius 250 and intensity 30 and we'll say A and B colors. So white. Let's go to a frame where we can see the sky better. Yeah, like here. Uh, let's play with our radius because we want kind of a soft uh, light wrap from the glow here. So something like this. Um, just tweaking these settings a little bit. Okay, let's take a look. So it looks like the glow gets way too uh, intense near the end. So let's just lower the opacity near the end. So let's say opacity 10 or 20 and we'll make another keyframe at, at around um, maybe six seconds. We can do 80. And now when we, when we play the last uh, couple seconds, let's see what it will look like. Okay, so that's looking good. I increased the intensity a bit on the final keyframe here. So 35, and now it looks fine. Okay, so we have our glow, we have our color correction. Let's turn on motion blur for our sky on the base comp here. So we'll click the motion blur here and we'll also click it in here. Um, and let's also turn on the motion blur on our comp because we have a camera shake, so we can turn off, turn on the extra motion blur for our uh, total scene. Okay, and that's about it. So let's just export this and I'll give you my final thoughts.